Hello everyone, I'm Kuang Qi from Zhejiang University. Today I'm sharing our new work, New Fab, Designing Low-Cost 3D Printed Inflatable Structure for Blue Molding Artifacts. We propose a novel and democratized blue molding technique enabled by FDM 3D printing custom structure and temporal trigger methods for multi-stage volumetric transformation with organic shapes and delicate textures. 3D printing is becoming democratized and ubiquitous. It can also empower crafting artifacts. For instance, 3D printing can support hands-on crafting for carpentry and hand weaving. Other crafting techniques like cobalt electroplating, spray coating, and embedded textile can add interactivity to 3D prints. Meanwhile, some work invite human participation for interactive fabrication, like doodling on 3D prints. Inspired by this, New5 aims to reveal interplay between 3D printing and blow molding. Blow molding is the practice of inflating a malleable and hollow person into a target form. The outcome can be controlled by manually shaping or pre-designed modes. Therefore, blow molding can produce a hollow structure with large volumes, light weights, and a complex curvature. This principle applies to various materials, including plastic, glassware, and the traditional Chinese sugars, for both aesthetics and utility. Therefore, we see an opportunity to introduce blow molding techniques that have existed for a long time but not fully being explored in the HCL community. This work presents new fab, a novel and low-cost hybrid fabrication workflow that allows normal users to design and create hollow volumetric shapes by blowing simple FDM printed thermoplastic structures. NewFab programs and prints thermoplastic composite structure as parasites, which can morph into target shapes after heat triggering, inflating, and eventually cooling down for the finalized shape. NewFab artifacts are transformative with volumetric expansion, orientation morphing, and transformative texture. Beyond the form factors, NewFab imparts 3D printed objects with tunable stiffness, ranging from flexible objects to dynamic structures. Just like conventional blow molding, new fab is built with thermal plastic material, which is also the most common filament used in FDM printing. In HCA and the digital fabrication community, thermal plastic has been widely explored to achieve shape changing behaviors beyond solely for finalized production. Our team has been democratizing 3D printing technologies with spontaneous transformation through self bending, self folding, and self rising structures. Material scientists recently proposed a novel 4D printing paradigm by specifying the light dose during digital light processing to manipulate the cross linking density horizon, which determines the glass transition temperature for shape changing. However, the meticulously prepared material and controlled DLB instruments hinder its democratization. Inspired by this, we developed the new fab methods, which can be printed with off the shelf filament and desktop FDM printers. Now we further explain the mechanism and the principle behind the new fab. NuFab leverages a well-known property of small plastic. When heated above the gas transition temperature, it becomes elastic. And with internal air pressure, the heated object expands like a balloon. Once the object cools down, it becomes rigid and obtains an inflated shape. We use this expansion to create blow molding artifacts from the 3D printed parasites. For the common off-the-shelf 3D printing filament, the gas transition temperature are relatively low and feasible for heat triggering, only using accessible methods like hot water conditions. Therefore, we chose polylactic acid as the candidate material. We conducted a material-driven investigation for new fab structure. We experimented with PLA hall cubic samples. Besides the basic expansion pattern and thickness change, we want to discuss the three observed behaviors during the heating and inflating process, thermal lag, shrinkage, and anisotropic expansion. These behaviors are associated with the geometry and the print settings. For details, please refer to our paper. With these insights from the material-driven exploration, we develop our designs and simulation tool, temporal triggering methods, and a morphing structure library. Leveraging the heat transference lag, we further design a set of thermal pneumatic triggering methods. We design the person with two parts, membrane and frame, which are significantly different in thickness. We assume a significant thermal lag between the frame and the membrane, and denote their expansion starting time as time M and time F. In phase 1, we submerge and heat the printed piece in hot water for time M. Only the membrane is heated thoroughly, above the glass transition temperature, and softened, while the frame is merely heated on the surface and remains rigid overall. When we inflate the object at this point, the membrane can be extruded but strictly constrained by the frame. In phase 2, when we submerge the object for more than time F, both the membrane and the frame are thoroughly heated. Therefore, when air pressure is loaded, both parts are pushed outwards and enlarged. In phase 3, we can view the inflated structure in phase 2 as a new basic comparison. By heating the new shape with an enlarged frame structure for no more than time m, the membrane components can burge out of the frame. The accumulated expansion enables us to make spatially distributed geometries. In phase 4, we shot a dip the expanded structure into hot water. The burged membrane can shrink and thus form a novel shape that conventional blown methods cannot fabricate. Therefore, we can control the inflated shape by adjusting heating times and alternating the heating, inflating, and cooling process. With these techniques, we have explored different morphing patterns. All the primitives are designed and generated with our design tool, an FDM printed with PLA. 
inspired by Photoshop's will leverage anisotropic expansion behavior and design a series of pipes with linear constraint frames to program the transformation. Therefore, after inflating, the 3D printed pipes grow like plants with bending, twisting, and coiling behaviors. New frame methods allow us to design inflatable shapes that are originally in planned shapes and then transformed into 3D objects. We also designed several spatially distributed frames. For more detailed design and fabrication, please refer to our paper. Beyond creating static shapes, NewFab endorses artifacts with tunable stiffness, which comes from the flexibility of the material itself, the design composite structure, and the internal air pressure. For NewFab artifacts, after inflation, the stretched membrane is thinner than the printable size and more flexible than the as printed objects. The flexible membrane can also serve as hinges for disjointed frame components. As shown in the figure, we illustrate how the pneumatic button with richer frames can offer stitched feedback. Moreover, manipulating the internal air pressure allows us to render different stiffness. The frame structures determine the haptic properties along with the change in internal air pressure. The combination allows different haptic feedback. Without internal air pressure, the stick can be deformed to different angles. When the pressure increases, the stick becomes elastic and even rigid. We developed the parametric design tool to help users understand new fab workflow and support design iteration. Users can specify global variables and adjust the constraint performance to design a target shape. They can iterate the design until they achieve their desired outcomes. Lastly, the software can automatically generate models for 3D printing and guidance for triggering. We hope users can benefit from new Fab 4, complementing FDM printing for creative expression, designing aesthetic in triggering shapes and delicate textures, and prototyping tangible interactive devices. To illustrate how new Fab complements 3D printing, we created a bunch of grapes using modular assembly to save printing time and material. Similarly, we inflated a balloon dog sculpture to illustrate the volume expansion feature of new Fab. The compact design also saves space for packaging and transportation. We made a set of jewelry with DIY accessories. The new fab artifacts are lightweight with only a few grains. The pleasing texture, alluring roundness, and the radiance make them ideal for jewelry. Lampshades are generally large and fragile. New fab provides a new method for illuminations with flat packaging. The flexibility of inflated objects allow us to create a tangible device like a keypad. Similarly, we designed a joystick for pressing, stretching, and bending at all degrees of freedom. When loaded with internal pressure, it becomes rigid and stiff. We then validated new fab from two important aspects. The accuracy of our simulation and the ease of operation with our design tool and the fabrication workflow. To evaluate the geometric accuracy of our simulation, we compared the simulated results with the 3D scanned physical output, which visually matched to a large degree. Although there are some variations, our simulation tool can fulfill the function of providing a preview. To evaluate the design tool and the workflow, we recruited six participants. We divide the study into two sessions, digital design and physical fabrication. In summary, all the participants could iterate the design with the simulation tool. They also found the generated instruction easy to follow and the fabrication workflow interesting and playful. In the end, we want to discuss the limitation and future work for new fab. For material, we looked at the three most common and accessible filaments, PLA, ABS, and PTG. But considering the ease of operation, we chose PLA for its lowest glass transition temperature. For reproducibility, we fabric a six kirigami structure with PLA in different colors. While some variations are caused by human operation and the material properties, the results show acceptable reproducibility. In the future, we may utilize an automated device like robotic arms to ensure consistent triggering conditions. For air tightness, the main challenge with FDM printing is the overhang structure. Though 3D printing can make various shapes with overhangs, the overhang structure falls due to gravity. To tackle this issue, we manually design cylinder struts to support the overhang surface, which are easily torn off after heating and inflating. For safety, during fabrication, the operator must avoid injuries from direct contact with high temperature objects, splashing water, and possible noise caused by the explosion. Handling objects with long tweezers and wearing protects like goggles and earplug is recommended. For design tool, NewFab only provides a forward workflow for basic geometries. An inverse design tool is currently not developed but desired. To provide a simulation results with a higher resolution and accuracy, connecting the design tool as a finite element analysis can be a future work. In this paper, combining advantages of 3D printing and blue molding, we present NewFab as a novel hybrid fabrication technique for making artifacts with complex geometry and haptic properties. Besides a democratized novel fabrication workflow, we propose an instructive design tool to facilitate design iteration with a visualized simulation. We also explore the potential for aesthetic and interactive function. We hope to inspire and invite creative expression to push beyond the boundary of 3D printing. Thank you for listening.